So patients who have asthma usually have shortness of breath, wheezing, and coughing. They have different triggers that can cause their symptoms. A lot of patients that I see have allergies as triggers, so they can have triggers of dust mites, cat, dog, molds, or pollens. So asthma has two major components. You have airway constriction, where your airways actually close down, and you can also have inflammation in your airways, where there's swelling of the insides of your airways. So with asthma, you want to avoid what is a trigger for your asthma. That's number one. Uh, exercise can be a big trigger for a lot of patients, and I don't want to tell patients not to avoid exercise. Uh, so then you usually treat asthma symptoms with medications. Medications depend on what type of asthma they have. If they have mild intermittent asthma, then they'll just need an albuterol inhaler to use as needed. If they have persistent asthma, then they usually have to be on an inhaled steroid to get good control of their asthma symptoms. Studies have shown that patients who do allergy shots can actually prevent symptoms of asthma, and patients who already have asthma, their asthma can get better to the point of going away with allergy injections. So children who have asthma can outgrow asthma. I tend to see children during puberty, their asthma seems to get better. However, it will sometimes return in adulthood. There are patients who will have asthma for most of their life. So my expectation is patients with asthma, especially when it's allergy-induced asthma, can live a normal life. They should be able to do all activities that they want to do and not restrict their activities.